In today's video, we are going to talk about how to install Linux Terminal on Windows 10 step by step. Myself Mohammed Zubair and this channel is all about showing you how to become a highly paid IT pro really fast. So without any further ado, let's get started. So before you install your Linux terminal onto your Windows 10, there are some things or settings that we have to do. First of all, click on your start menu button and go to your settings. From there, we'll go to our apps and from our apps, we'll go to our programs and feature section, which is right here. I will just click on this one and from here, click on turn Windows feature on or off. From here, we need to enable some of the options. First one is virtual machine platform and the second one is Windows subsystem for Linux. Enable both of them and after that click on OK. In your case, as you are doing it for the first time, your system will require you to restart your system. So make sure to restart your system and I have already done that. That is why it has not shown me that message. After you are done restarting your system, now it's time to open your Microsoft Store. I will just search for store in here. Here it is. I will just open this one. So this is our Microsoft Store. From here, I will download my Ubuntu. I will just hit enter. I have already searched for that. And here I have my Ubuntu. And down here we have different other versions available as well. Like we have Ubuntu 18.04, Ubuntu 20.04 and Ubuntu 22.04. I have already downloaded Ubuntu 22.04. That is why here it says open. I will just click on it and it will open my Ubuntu. Here it says installing. This may take a few minutes. So I will wait for it before we move ahead. We are done here with the installation and now it is asking us to enter our new Unix username. I will write here skills build and I will just hit enter. Now it is asking us to enter our new password. I will enter my password, hit again. I will retype my password and I will hit again. And our password has been updated successfully. And now we are ready to use our terminal onto our Windows 10. If I write here ls hit enter, we do not have anything. If I write here ls space hyphen l and now we have total zero. And now I will again write here ls space hyphen la and as you can see we have a lot of things available it shows that ubuntu terminal or linux terminal have been installed successfully onto our windows 10. now i'll show you one more way that you can follow to install your linux terminal onto your windows 10. let me just close this window and now i will just click on my start menu button and i'll go to my settings from here i'll go to update and security and then I'll go to my for developer. Just click on this option and I will enable my developer mode. It will give me a warning. So I will go with the yes option. So we are done with this one. Now I will search for bash into my system. Here it is. I will just open this one. And now from here, we can use our terminal as well. In case if you have not downloaded and installed Ubuntu from the Microsoft store, you can follow this step or this way to install Linux Terminal onto your Windows. Again, from here, it will ask you to enter your first username and then it will ask you to enter your password. And then again, it will ask you to retype your password. But as I am already done over this one with my Ubuntu Terminal, that is why it is not asking me to do so. So if I write here ls space hyphen la hit enter, as you can see, I have all those things, all those files repositories that are available into my system at the moment. So this is how you have two ways that you can follow to download and install Linux Terminal onto your Windows 10. Now I will just close this one. And in case if you want to reopen your Linux Terminal, press Windows icon and I will just write here Ubuntu. Here you can see here it says app. I will just click on this one. And here we have Linux Terminal up and running. And that brings us to the end of today's video. Please leave a like, subscribe and press the bell icon. I will get back to you in the next video. Till then, take care.